Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we are going to look at creating a project manager file. When you want to create a project manager file, what you're creating is all the source material for your sequence put into a folder. Maybe there's a point down the road where I want to add music to it, or I want to change this text. When you're finished with your project, create a project manager file and then you'll have a dedicated folder that has all the files that have to do with this sequence only, all together. It's a fantastic technique. Sequence, render into out. This whole sequence now you can see is starting to turn green. File, project manager. So here are all the sequences that are part of this project. Premiere Pro will automatically check whatever sequence you have open in your project. Collect files and copy to a new location. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to browse that. I'm going to call this project manager ducking and create it and say choose. Now over here, exclude unused clips. Absolutely. You don't want any, anything that's not part of this sequence. Why would you want it? include audio conform files. I would keep that on check and I would also not bring in the preview files. If I include them, when you reopen the sequence line, you're going to have a fully rendered project. Maybe you want that. You know what? This is such a small project. I'm going to keep it checked. Why not just also the audio conform files? Rename media files to match clip names. Absolutely. If you happen to have renamed your media, this is going to help you using Reconnect Media if you ever had to do that. Let's just say, okay. It always asks you to save it. Let's take a look at what's in this. Copied Noble August. That's the name of the overall project. Here are my audio preview files. There, were, there actually weren't any. And here are the render files that happened. The media cache. Nothing here cannot be re-rendered and recreated, just so you know. I'm going to close this existing project. Now I'm going to just go ahead and click on this and we'll see what happens. Here we have August instructional videos. Here we have our fully rendered movie. And in this bin, we have everything to do with this. Well, this is actually a recorded movie called Ducking that I made. That's why there's only one clip, but it, normally you'd have 20. You'd have several clips here. And then you have your motion graphics, my intro and my outro. I did a few different lower thirds, so every one of these is going to be different. It's going to represent something different on this line. So this is it. And you know, your project manager file is amazing. You could share this with another editor. You can keep it for your own archives, which I would recommend doing all the time. All in all, it's a fantastic way of keeping your project safe. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on creating a project manager file. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.